Hey, in a previous tutorial I showed you how to model a wine glass using polygon primitives. We use a cylinder extrusion to create the shape, but in this tutorial we're going to be using curves to make a nerve surface, which we can then convert into polygons to finish up. The first thing we're going to want to do is import the image plane. You can do so by going to View, Image Plane, Import Image. Now we've imported a reference into the side view, we can start by drawing out the shape. I like to use the CV Curve tool, which can be found by going to Create, Curve Tools, CV Curve Tool. I'm going to start from the middle of the inside and work my way up and back down the outside of the wine glass. With the curve tool, once you've added a couple of points, it averages out the curve as you can see. You might find clicking and dragging to be more accurate, but don't worry as you can go back and edit points once we've fully completed the curve. I'm just going to dim the image plane by adjusting the colour gain. This helps us to see the curve easier as my reference is quite bright. With the curve selected, hold right click and go to control vertex so we can start to tweak the curve a little. You can always delete points if you need to. To ensure the two middle points align correctly, select them both and scale along the Z axis whichever axis achieves the same results for you. You probably won't notice much of a difference, but this ensures we get no holes in the glass. We can now go to perspective mode and I'm going to delete the image plane as I don't need it any longer. Now it's time to use resolve to create the nerve surface from the curve. With the curve selected, you can either find the resolve tool either on the curve surfaces shelf or by going to surfaces resolve. If like me your nerve is black, you can go to surfaces reverse direction. It's a bit like your normals being the wrong way around for your polygon meshes. Other than that, I'm just going to leave things as they are and convert this nerve surface to a polygon object. I have a whole tutorial on the different tessellation methods if you want to go a little bit more in depth, but in this tutorial I'm going to be keeping things quite simple. What you're going to want to do is go to modify, convert, nerves to polygons and select the box at the end to bring up the menu. Normally I'd probably use the general tessellation method, but as my curve points aren't spaced out that like equally, I'm probably not going to get the best results. See how some of the polygons are close together, but others are more spaced out. It's not really doing much to help the model, just making it more dense. Alternatively, I'm going to use count. Setting it to around 500, or else I risk losing some of the detail. But play around with this value yourself until you get the results you desire. I'm just going to add a few edge loops to hold the sharper details. As you can see, the polygons are much more evenly spread out. Just to finish off, I'll create one with the standard fit tessellation method, but just notice how it generates n-gons whilst trying to maintain the shape as best as possible. Well that's it for this one, I've tried to keep it as straightforward as possible and I hope you found it helpful. Please like, subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.